Hey, fellas, Jazz here. Today is 6 past 5 on Monday the 31st of January 2022. And today we'll be doing something very special. I have essentially gone and built out the game to a small dev build. And I've got something very special to show you straight up without any explanation at all. Watch this. This is almost the 65 preset limit that Burb Out 1.1 will allow you to have. Yes, 65. It was originally going to be just 50, but because the interface is 11 by 6, I was planning to just make that 65 to fill it out plus the stock preset. And even then, it might just be 66 because I am planning to put out the stock preset because you cannot gain playtime on that, and I will explain that later. Right now, I'm on my favorite loadout that I've currently got here. As you can see, I've got a bunch of dummy ones. This is my melee focus loadout. Fat finger that, sorry. And if I go onto my edit preset, you can now see the playtime and a bunch of other things that are a bit more refined. Recently, it's mainly just been fixing bugs, but I'll go into all of the features of the loadout in this video, just everything. Let's go down the list and I'll explain everything. First of all, you can still make presets, of course. The process has been a little bit simplified. Randomization is taken out. There'll be a feature that'll be added later. And I also changed it up such that the font is Burbout's normal font. It's no longer using a lot of the normal stock look for Unity assets. I need to make a custom text box here and eventually I'll add controller support for keyboard stuff. So let's say, Jazz Tasha's new load out. There we go, I hit go. And it appears right here. And as you can see, there we go. It's on here. And let's see, how many do we have? 1, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66 minus 2. That's 64. And then stock, that's 63. So let's stress test it. Let's go all the way. Oh, that's a bug. That's meant to be green highlighted. Okay. Uh, another one. And let's just say the last one. And if I hit go, there we go. The make new preset is gone. And now we just have everything here. I'm going to make it so that the loadout names will be a little bit more confined and stuff like that. I've still got a few tiny little UI tweaks to finish off. But other than that, we're good. So let's go to melee focused. As you can see, playtime since the day it was made. And I'm actually going to, as you can see, swap left and swap right. If you've been in the Discord, you've seen me show off this. I added a little space between them to make the formatting look a little bit better. And now there's a little bit of subtext down here that shows you where you're actually going to put it, right? And it tells you also what preset number it is. So let's say I want this at the very front. I can swap to first now. Also, controller navigation still works. Done a bit of work on that, making sure that's up to snuff. And also, let's reset... Well, let's change the name. Instead of Melee Focus, that's a bit of a mouthful. Let's set that to just Melee. And if I go back in, there we go. Also, I recently unlocked Sword because I've played the first three levels of Further Fury. And you can see the notification dot. Sword is the item that I haven't used yet. I'm probably going to make it so it has a dot on there and also on the main menu. I need to write that down quickly. So yeah, that's a new feature. So main menu and item screen need note of button. That's me just noting it down right there and that's a feature that's going to be coming down the pipeline. So you can add a preset, you can change preset name. Let's say, let's get rid of one of these dummy presets. Delete it. Delete it. And there we go. For the most part, it's good, but we're getting a few errors here. That's interesting. And of course, this is the revert screen. We'll be talking about this later. You can, of course, revert those settings. But I actually saved and went through with that. So let's say 62B... Um, I want to delete this. 61. I want to delete this. 
and I can just keep on deleting some stuff. And if I want to check that um, I can delete them, you know, have here, I'll just cancel that revert and I'll apply and close. And now I've got some space freed up for new presets. So let's go to melee focus. I don't think I actually saved that because I reverted it. Save and close. Yep, there we go. Hasn't quite switched over. There we go. Other than that, it's pretty standard. So let's jump into the campaign. Deleting presets. So you can delete presets, you can save. I'll have to show off the revert screen now because I forgot to really put that in. So let's say I accidentally delete. Let's say I actually want like support, right? And like a dingus, I delete it. Okay, so let's revert that change. As you can see here, it appears here. And if I want to revert the changes, there we go. It sends me back here. And support is still here. It also does stuff for, let's say I go like this. It'll show you reverts for your items. So if I want to revert that, jump back in. There we go. What else can you do? Renames are also part of the revert screen, so... Let's say I make a really stupid typo. Yeah, let's revert that. And it doesn't save. What else can you revert? You can revert item changes, you can re also revert stuff like... Oh, let's say, let's say I go into my melee loadout. Melee focused. I've got the penguin pullover on. Let's say I don't want a hat anymore. There we go. There's nothing there. And let's say I actually want to put the hat back. Unequipped penguin pullover in hat slot of melee focus. Let's say I just want to revert that. And now, if I go back into my melee focus loadout, there we go. The penguin pullover is still there. So any changes you make are revertible. Just about anything. And this also includes, let's say, rename, delete, swapping left and right, exit, revert changes. There you go, left and right swapping are also revertible. So yeah, you can revert a lot of things. This was actually suggested by one of our community members. Um, what else can we do? I've shown off time, but I'll have to actually jump into a match to show that. 65 presets. Um, duplication, the UI screen works, swapping left and right works, and there's no navigation bugs, which is good. Anyways, now that I've ran through my list, let's jump into a campaign match. Oh, I actually want to play with my melee focus loadout. Let's do a melee only loadout. Let's change and close. Campaign, and sky high climb. There we go, and our loadout is completely in with the penguin pullover, which is a Linux hat and all of my melee stuff. So let's pause for a sec. And let's actually go back into edit mode and we can see that on Ironclaw I've used this for three minutes, which is really good. So it's been 10 minutes and 41 seconds. So let's wait a bit and see if this gets to 11 minutes. And of course we can see if this hits a minute, this hits a minute, this hits 10 minutes and this hits four. So let's just play for a bit. Uh, nine, three, zero, zero, 10. 10, 9, okay, sweet. Just trying to remember the things so I can reset the game. And let's just play some, let's just play some Burbat. Let's say, you know, we're doing good. Walking around, doing some platforming. By the way, this is the last level in the demo, so I'm not actually spoiling anything. I'm doing pretty good, pretty confident. By the way, there may be a few minimal 1.1 specific bugs around here, but otherwise everything's running pretty smoothly, all things considered. Now jump around here. And let's say, oh, I need a pause because I need to go, you know, pick up a package or something from the front door or whatever. Let's pause. Let's go into our loadout and let's edit. There we go, we're up to 11 minutes with this. We're up to 10 minutes with that, 4 minutes with this, and apparently, huh, 2 seconds, okay. So it's still got a little bit to go, otherwise it's just a little bit bugged, but you can see how I'm mainly getting and racking up some playtime on this preset and some of these other things, which is good, so you can put on 
uh, playtime and be able to flex on people and say, oh yeah, I've been playing since the 31st, you know, I've had this for a while. I might also make it that you can show what version of the game that you've been playing since on this preset. So yeah, that's how customizable presets are getting in version uh, 1.1. What else? Yeah, the main menu and item screen notification, that's going to be a thing. And also you notice I don't have the little notification dot. That's because I've actually tracked some playtime on Sword. Apparently I was only playing for two seconds though, which is weird. I'll have to jump in and more thoroughly test that before I ship this update. But other than that, yeah, I'm pretty confident. Oh, I was going to test out... Well, I know that conversions sort of work for items and presets and for everything else. It's pretty much there. However, I actually got some community presets, some community save files just sent to me in zip files. And I want to see if I can get some of you guys on, like actually on a devlog and show it off. You don't have to jump on, it's just... You know, just showing off and seeing how your presets convert over, and your save files in general. Other than that, what else have I done? I'm just reading down the fix list here. Uh, it's mainly just preset fixes, but as well as some other fixes. Actually, not that many. I've Most of it's 1.1 bugs that have been introduced that have been... Okay, so mainly stuff like the item name wasn't shown on pickup. Actually, I'm just going to play for... Screw it, I'm just going to play through this whole map. I'll do this on two times speed. And we'll check the time. Oh, it is actually tracking correctly. It probably, probably knows I haven't actually used that item yet. Sword. Three seconds. Alright. Let's exit, let's save and close, and let's reset. And I'm actually just going to play through this level, and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, well, I accidentally stopped recording there completely. <laughs> that was a weird mess up. So, I'm going to jump in and, as you can see, racked up a bit of extra playtime. Hats as well, they also get playtime as well. Before, I think it was just me being stupid, just not realizing that I actually hadn't played that long. But I did play a full minute this time and I've gotten up to about 2 minutes and 50 seconds on sword. I could probably go with removing this on the dummy items. Also, this should probably just say nothing. Or none. Yeah, that's that's another weird discrepancy that I just didn't clear up. But let's resume the game. I'm just going to jump through and I'm going to grab quick. And as you can see, it's no longer capitalized. That's actually changed from 1.1 to 1.0. I jump in here. And let's just quit to the main menu my loadout, and let's say I want to make a support loadout. And as you can see, if we go here, we have the quick bell, which works as normal actually. A lot of this was mainly refactoring, and you can also see that we've got our little one button here that shows that we have one weapon we still need to use. If you're fairly through burb out currently, you'll probably get a lot of notifications like that. It's to encourage new players to just try out as many weapons as possible. But yeah, if you have any suggestions, be sure to drop them in the Discord, which link for that will be in the top line of the description below. Other than that, everything seems pretty kosher. And if you find any bugs in version 1.1, be sure to tell me, I'll be sure to fix it and bring out a 1.1.0a or 1.1.1 version and stuff like that. I'm usually trying to be on top of bugs, so yeah, be sure to tell me. It's better to have like 5, 6 or like a bunch of different bug requests for the same bug than zero requests, so yeah. Be sure to open a ticket in our Discord server. Other than that, I haven't got much more to say other than, yeah, this is almost done. It's going to be a big part of version 1.1 and 1.2. So be sure to jump into Burb Out and take a look at that when you have some time. Other than that, thank you all for watching, and as always, take care.